Hello, Jester Good here. Today I'm opening up 30 packs of Lego Batman Movie Minifigure Series 2. And I went totally overboard with this series because I have a box coming. So that's 90 minifigures in total. Ridiculous. Either way, our first minifigure is the Bat Mermaid. So for the Batman Mermaid, it's kind of ridiculous but funny. I like the printing on his tail and his torso right there. It might be a new mold for the tail, I'm not entirely sure. He also has a nice new smiling print and a printed plate. I guess all of them have printed plates. All right, so pack two. Let's see what's inside. Oh, we got a Surfer Batgirl. So far, so good. We're two for two, even though I didn't feel these up. You can see her surfboard right there. And the design of this, I guess, has some cool printing on it. But again, it's just kind of boring to me. And she has a face print underneath. Pack number three, which I miscut. And we have... Oh, one of the Wonder Twins. So here's Zan the Wonder Twin, which is a brother. And we have that bucket, which has a printed face on this one by one tile. Also, I love the purple and just the dual molded colors all around. The hair piece can definitely be used for a custom Spock from Lego Star Trek, if you want to make that. So I got so much because I was able to do two for five at Toys R Us with these. So I got them at a deal. And it seems like we got uh, Jor-El. So here's Jor-El, one of my favorites. I love that Superman hair in white. I love the little emblem and his torso is actually really cool. This part is blocking it, but once removed, you can see how it looks underneath. All right, so here's the funny story. So these were two for five, limit eight per customer, which I think is ridiculous. So how did I get all these? And our first repeat is just another Zon. Oh, well, he's still a cool figure. Anyways, what I had to end up doing was bringing my friends, yes, I have friends, to get the rest. So I, I brought like uh, three of my other friends. I was like, oh, you get this one, you get that one. And we have Alfred from his friends or family look. Fun fact, this is my first Lego Alfred minifigure ever. I didn't expect it to have some arm printing, so that's kind of cool. It is very detailed and wacky. I don't know. Um, I got to really evaluate this more because it does look better in person. So yeah, that was how I got 30 packs, but uh, I didn't like buy the whole box or anything there. I already ordered one. Um, for not at retail price. And we have Hugo Strange, which is a great figure. So here is Hugo Strange. Love that we finally got a minifigure version of him. Kind of weird that there's no back printing, but uh, love his torso, face, and everything. Like, this looks like a perfect figure in terms of the character design. So, so far we're six for seven, so that's pretty good. Um, only one repeat. And again, I didn't feel these up, but I do have a trick to this. And let's see, oh, we got uh, Black Canary. So I love this figure because it's another character we've been wanting for a while. And I like the legs especially, and also the face. This is such a funny face with her singing. But if you don't want to use that, she just has a regular face print right there. So that is good as well. Anyways, the trick is in the box, these are actually ordered in numbers. So you got three in a row of the same characters as far as I know. So I kind of just picked based off of that. This will come out. Oh, great, another Zon. I mean, I like the Wonder Twins, but gosh, this is my third version of him. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's see who's in this one. And, oh, it's Professor Phosphorus, I believe. So here's Dr. Phosphorus, sorry, not Professor. And he uses a spring green. I wish it was either a translucent neon green, like these flames right here, or a glow in the dark. I don't know if this color really works, but uh, you do get two of those flames as accessories. So 8 for 10. Still good, still good. We still got a good 20 to go. Can't believe how much of this I bought. And it seems like we got, oh cool, Disco Harley Quinn. Here's Disco Harley Quinn or Friends Are Family Harley Quinn. And yeah, this one's one of my least favorites. I wish she had an accessory or something like that, not just the roller skates and tutu. But she does have an alternate face, which I guess is pretty cute. Actually, both of these are pretty cute as face prints, so I don't mind that. All right, let's see what's inside this one. And this is, oh, it's uh, Beach uh, Alfred. And Beach Alfred is okay. Like I like his torso and I like that it's an easy way to get the generic Alfred who doesn't come in any cheap sets, you know, no rock star glasses like the disco one. It's essentially so boring though. And I gotta correct myself because I said disco Alfred was the first Alfred I got, but I actually did get the ultimate Batmobile which had Alfred in it, so that kind of counts. So far still so good. And uh, let's see what they have. Uh, oh, look at that, uh, friends or family slash disco Alfred. 
So this is my second character get a repeat, my third repeat in total. If we get more than 10 repeats, then I'm not getting the whole series in this opening, which will be a shame. So the box opening is basically the Just Too Good Christmas special slash end of the year special. And oh, this is a hard one to open. Let's see what's inside. Oh, another Black Canary. Uh-oh, repeat central. Repeat number four. All right, next pack. Crud, I hope I didn't scratch like a, a minifigure piece, but uh, okay, good. It was just the instructions. Oh, cool. It is Soccer Mom Backer, which is one of my favorites of this series. So I'm happy that this hood is actually not rubber, and you can see that she does actually have an alternate facial expression. I really like this figure, and uh, the design for her arms are printed. She has some nice leg printing that says number one bat fan in the Batman fan club, and she has two bat bucks. This is a really funny and uh, nicely printed minifigure. All right, more to open. And it seems like we got, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is my fourth Zon. That means that this was from another box because I did get from two boxes. I should have freaking got them all from one box. Crud. I would be lying if I said I didn't regret buying a box beforehand uh, because now it's gonna bite me in the butt. Now I'm gonna have seven of that guy. But hey, a new figure. Killer Moth, which is an exclusive version different from the sets. Odd choice for a character that has been in sets before as this minifigure series, but I actually really like his design. I think this is, might be the best design yet. I mean, I know the other one has that nice mask, but I don't know. I like this one a lot. And it uses a new color for that uh, classic space gun from uh, Series 17, I believe. So it'll be a miracle if we get the whole series, but uh, we're down to five repeats, so almost cracking to that point. Either way, oh, six repeats. I don't resell any of my Lego. I don't think I've ever resold any Lego ever, but uh, yeah, I might have a lot of extras of these. Maybe I should start a Brooklyn store. Nah. What is next? Let's see. Oh, seven repeats. Just another killer moth. So I put all the seven of the repeats to the side just to kind of clear up space. in here. Uh oh, eight repeats. Thankfully, this is one of my favorites, so I don't mind it. All right. Uh, give me a new figure. It's been a while. Nope. It's another good one, but uh, yeah, we're probably not gonna finish the series here. I would do like a giveaway of like all my extras, but sending stuff is so hard because I have to put my personal address and I don't want that being out in public. So if anybody has an alternative to that, let me know and don't say PO box because that costs a lot. All right. Come on, give me a new figure. Oh yes, awesome. Neil before Zod. And this gives me so much nostalgia for Superman 2, which was a film from my childhood. You can see Neil before Zod in polls. It's so stupid. Candidate Neil wins on platform. Will not enslave humanity. You can see that he does have some printing on both arms. This is just a fantastic figure. Love getting this hair in black. That's incredibly useful. Then we have some back facial and torso printing. So I'm missing six. I have eight repeats and eight packs left. So yeah. Oh no. Our third black canary. So we can only hope. Rebellions are built on hope, right? Ah. Our third Alfred didn't even put his tie or this part on because I don't want to damage this part, but uh, yeah. So if I don't get any more repeats, I could complete the series here, but that's most likely not gonna happen. Should have just stuck that one box at the store. Oh no, oh no, oh, okay, oh, 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 okay. All right, so this is Jaina. She does have two cool accessories, an exclusive printed uh, little record and top 24 party songs. I should have said this in the beginning, but I looked at this and I was like, I don't think I'm gonna get Black Vulcan. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm not gonna get him. And it looks like I have not gotten him so far. And there's only, what, uh, five packs left? Four packs left? So let's see. No clocking either. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So here is Beach Robin. Not one of my favorites, but uh, I do like Hawaiian shirts for Lego Weird Al. His face print underneath looks very surprised. No back facial printing or anything like that. Dual molded red arms are nice. Uh, reprint of this. I don't know why they did that because that was a Series 3 accessory. 
and ice cream. Like those two accessories are so boring. Then you got his swim trunks, which would be so much better if it didn't have the R right there. So if these four are not repeats, I could complete the series. Missing Claw King, Beach Batman, Black Vulcan, and Tropical Joker. No, 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 no. We were so close, so close. And this is a direct effect of using two different boxes there because there's no way you could have four of her and I have four of there. All the ones I'm missing are literally on the box. You got Black Vulcan, Claw King, Beach Batman, and Tropical Joker. Hope I don't get this one because he's the worst out of those four. Our second friends are family slash disco Harley Quinn. <sighs> All right, well, we're not gonna get at least two of those figures. Oh, oh, oh shoot, my prediction was wrong. Oh no. So here is Black Vulcan. This guy is pretty sick and I did not think I would get him. So I'm kind of glad. Uh, the design for his headpiece underneath, you can see is pretty cool. He uses the Flash's helmet, but with new coloring, same material. It feels extra rubbery though. Um, I don't know why, maybe that's because it's for a minifigure packet. And he has these two lightning bolts as accessories, dual molded legs as well. And look at that, printing all the way up there. That's kind of rare for a Lego minifigure leg. So will it be a new one or just a repeat? We'll have to wait and see. All right, I guess this will make the box more, I hate saying the word, but epic because you know, we'll see. Oh, there he is, Clock King and Tropical Joker. Oh, oh, there he is, Clock King, oh, okay. Just knowing how close I was to finishing it. I'm only missing two figures. Ah, oh, man. Should have just used one box. But either way, I I, I, I dramatize all this. It's not even a problem. Like, I don't even care. It's like, I'm just some, some man child who, who spends a lot on Lego. I mean, come on. It's not a big deal. But uh, design for Clock King. This guy is so freaking cool. Love the side arm printing side leg printing these two spheres people say is the hands of a clock that makes sense i still think they're boring accessories but whatever um weird that he uses the old style cape because uh somebody in here i think it was a bat fan girl or whatever uses a new style cape and i would have rather preferred that i don't like the old style cape no back torso printing which i guess is okay because the cape covers it this i love i didn't even expect this look at this you can see the gears of a clock in this little indented headpiece. Like that isn't drawn on. No, those are drawn on, but like it's indented that there's two holes here. What a useful piece. Like they didn't just say reuse the gingerbread headpiece from a uh, series 11. No, they, this is a totally new mold. And it looks fantastic for it. So I was just doing a recap of all the individual ones I have here. And then I was like, wait a minute. Well, there's two Hugo Stranges. Does that mean I'm missing a third figure? I looked at the checklist. Oh no. Oh no. I'm missing a Pachi Chief. Oh my gosh. How could I forget about this figure? So I'm actually missing three figures and that guy wasn't on the front of the box. So, okay. That's okay. Whatever. Uh, but either way, a recap of all the ones I have. You can see uh, Clock King, Black Vulcan, Dr. Phosphorus, Disco Harley Quinn is the official name, Beach Alfred, Black Canary. I need to look up the official name of that. I call it Zocker, Batgirl, Bat Fangirl, uh, Killer Moth, Disco Alfred, uh, Jor El, Hugo Strange. Uh, this one is Zon, right? Yeah, Zon. And then the other one is Jane, uh, right here. Uh, Zod. We also have Beach Batgirl, uh, Bat Mermaid, and Robin. Then we just have a pool of extras right here. Like I said, I would like to give maybe like a full set once I do that box opening away as like an essay contest, a secret essay contest, but I don't know how to do it without like giving out my personal info on the mail. So if anybody does a solution to that, please tell me in the comments because I do read them and that would help tremendously. The packaging is very weird because it says series two right there, different from series two of the regular Lego minifigures and series two of the Simpsons logo. And not too much going on there. We also have these instructions, not really instructions, well, the instructions are in the back, but checklist, which shows all the figures. There's one I'm missing, uh, two I'm missing, and three I'm missing. And then the back, I was like, oh yes, I'll have a teaser for series 18, but nope, nothing. It just says you could unlock minifigures in the movie scene builder online, which is interesting. You just use the code Gotham. 
And that's it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.